This is Clarence Hill and Drew Davidson coming to you from the Cowboys facility to talk about the 2015 Cowboys draft. We just had a press conference with Jerry Jones, roughly about 45 minutes. Jerry Jones, Stephen Jones, and Jason Garrett talking about their needs for the draft and also talking about the fact that Jerry really acknowledged for the first time that Stephen Jones is the captain now. The bottom line is, uh, without getting into it a lot, Stephen has absolute, tremendous influence on these decisions that are ultimately made in this organization and everything we do. There's no question about that. Jason has as much influence, every bit as much, and more than many of anybody that has ever coached this football team on what we are doing. It would be madness for two people to work as hard as these guys do not to get in and be influenced by what they are telling you. Yeah, there's no question. And he, and he also pointed right to Jason Garrett saying, you know, I got to listen to this guy too because he's the one coaching those players. Uh, so he obviously, you know, kind of acknowledged that, you know, he's not, you know, pulling the trigger, uh, so to speak, as much as he might have in the past. And I thought that was interesting. And uh, you heard a lot of defense in there, too. There's no doubt. And, you know, you know, sometimes these things, uh, Jerry speaks with forked tongues. Most teams speak with forked tongues. This is the lying season because they don't want to let anybody know their, their plans. And Jerry said that, you know, running back wasn't a priority in this draft. Certainly running back is a priority, uh, as well as improving that defense. If they're 1-1A, one one they need a running back to replace DeMarco Murray. They will most certainly draft a running back at some point in this draft, first or second round and they will also focus on that defense. They need help at defensive line, defensive end, defensive tackle, and cornerback. That's a priority. Yeah, and I think being at 27, Stephen Jones, Jerry Jones, Jason Gare, they all kind of said it's too early to project, you know, mm -hmm. or they're picking too late to really project. So they got to see who falls to them. Maybe a mm -hmm. Randy Gregory falls to them. Maybe a Shane Ray falls to them. You know, if Melvin Gordon slips that far. I mean, there, there's a lot of – uh, unknowns right now, so I think they're just going to kind of in a wait and see approach and see what's best available. Well, the interesting thing about being at 27 and Jerry acknowledged that they could move up or could move down because the players they want that they need for the draft probably won't be there at 27. So if they start falling to them, they could make a trade and move up in the draft. If that doesn't happen, they could move down and try to get more value, get another pick in that second round. So they're going to be flexible. Jerry said they're going to be like an option quarterback. And, you know, they can't target a certain guy because they don't know who's going to be available. But they're going to be ready to be flexible. If they have to move up, they will. If they have to move down, they move, will do that as well. Yeah, and I think Steven hit on it too. This draft really sets up well for the Cowboys. There's some cornerback depth. There's some running back depth. There's edge rushers. So, you know, what order they pick those positions at remains to be seen, but it does kind of suit them well to, you know, kind of sit back, see uh, who's there, if they want to trade up a few picks, if they want to trade back, and uh, just kind of play it by ear. And two issues that they also touched on that have to do with current players on the team, Greg Hardy and Des Bryant. Des Bryant is free from the Des rules. He's really running his own thing and, and, and taking care of his own business for the first time since he's been with the Cowboys. How that uh, plays out and how that impacts uh, him getting a long-term contract extension is a wait and see. But this is, a, you know, they, they believe Des is mature and is ready to take this step. But I think this is a test for Des. If he handles his business and it, uh, properly, he could get a long-term contract extension next year. I don't see it happening this year. I see him playing on the franchise tag. But again, this is a test for Des to really prove that he's ready to take care of his own business. Yeah, and with Greg Hardy, uh, you, you know, he, he's a veteran. He did come in, had a little scuffle with Devon Coleman, but I think that's, you know, like he's tweeted out, you know, that's kind of normal uh, around every NFL team. So I think with Hardy, they are, uh, you, you know, fine with, you know, stuff like that popping up. However, I, I was interested that Stephen Jones said they weren't too surprised with the 10 game suspension. Well, I'd take exception to that. I think we were very aware that there was a suspension pending and knew that it could be of that length. So I would disagree with you there. I think we were very aware of that. I think we structured, well, no, I don't think it turned out any different than what we thought might could happen. 
and I think we structured a contract to deal with that, and we knew very well something could, uh, you know, our eyes were wide open on that. No, he said they weren't surprised, but, he, you know, he said the six game suspension was, was the minimum, and, and he could have got a high as six. I mean, they really took issue with people thinking that they were blindsided by the 10-game suspension. He said the contract, they took all that into account in the contract. They're really, again, Jason acknowledged they're pleased with the decision to bring Garrett, Greg Hardy, and they think that this environment will be good for him like it was for Dez. Yeah, and I think that kind of goes to show, you know, I asked Jason and he said, you know, the, they have built a culture in a locker room where they can kind of absorb some guys with question marks. Look at Rolando McClain last year, had plenty of red flags, came in and, and was successful. So I think looking at this draft, you know, they won't shy away from guys with maybe some baggage. Bottom line is the Cowboys are ready to build on that 12-4 and four season last year, ready to build on that trip to the playoffs, that first, that, that playoff win and, and that, and really take the next step after that loss to the uh, Green Bay Packers in the divisional playoffs. The next step is doing something, adding to this team in the draft, and we will see that Thursday night.